everyone welcome back to my channel today i am finally opening up this overflowing box of charms and organizing them and finally displaying them oh my god i have been putting this off oh i love that mammon charm i've been putting this off for so so long and i can't believe i'm finally getting to it i will be honest after i recorded this I changed up the entire thing so at the end I will show you how it looks right now officially and yeah so right now what I'm doing is just separating the charms by series and um, anything I only have one character of I have in its own pile like that Alba the Chitoge one so this grid I got from Amazon it actually came with two grids and it came with fairy lights, it came with like a mini hammer, it came with decorations, and then it came with clips, these pink clips, which I'll show you right now. So there they are. And I use these clips, I'll put a link by the way in the description uh, for the grid. I use the clips to hang the Tokyo Mew Mew boxes just because I didn't wanna open them up I think they look so much better with the them in the boxes with the background design and everything and they look super colorful and I didn't want to ruin that and also I didn't want to take away the value of the actual charms and then I have these other official Tokyo Mew Mew charms next to them which they never came with a package when I bought them so that's why <laughs> they like that but you guys this <laughs> literally took me all day to do it was so difficult for some reason I had such a hard time putting the actual charms on the grid and I got so frustrated at some point where I feel like I kind of just started putting random shit on there and like that's why I ended up not liking it in the end and having to change it up. But anyways, you will see the final result at the end. Like, you can see me lifting this freaking grid up and everything. I was getting so angry, you guys. Like, you're listening to this with, like, music in the background. And it's, like, this cute, cool, sped-up aesthetic. It looks <laughs> normal. But, like, I was pissing up a storm holy crap and it really wasn't helping that I was listening to a Shinji and Kaoru playlist from Evangelion do y'all ever do that where you listen to these weirdly specific playlist like fan-made playlist names where it's like I don't know like some of them are so freaking weird they're like jumping <laughs> They're like jumping off a bridge or drowning with Dazai or something, like committing double suicide with Dazai. I'm like, yo. <laughs> but to be honest, those playlists are like some of the best ones. <laughs> if they're named really weirdly specific, they're good. You gotta click on them. What my, my goal was here, let me just say, is I was trying to kind of color coordinate and everything in a way so I have the majority of my charms are like pink and like these bright colors and then I have a few like black butler ones or Tokyo Ghoul ones where they're like darker so what I was trying to do was I'm trying to put I was trying to put the lighter ones at the top and then at the bottom I would like go darker you'll see at the end result that's not really what happened And then here, I, I literally can't tell you how or why this angle changed. 
believe me, it pisses me off more than it pisses you off. So please let it slide. Uh, it will go back in just a second. <laughs> you guys, just to let you know, every time I lift this grid up, I am like pissed. <laughs> To be honest, I'm most likely going to change the grid again <laughs> after this just because I'm going to be getting in more charms, I know. And then eventually I'll have to buy another grid or something because, I mean, this grid is pretty much full already. So, you know, <laughs> I feel like doing stuff like this isn't for me just because I get so frustrated easily. I thought this was going to be relaxing, but man oh man was I wrong. I literally don't know why I was having such a hard time putting the charms on the grid. I don't... Like, I did it off camera when I took everything out and redid the grid, like, and off camera, I was completely fine. Like, I could put the stuff in. I just don't, like, I don't know if I was in a rush or like, I don't, I, you know. <laughs> By the way, my favorite type of charms are those charms where it looks like you're pinching- oh, she, I'm angry. It looks like you're pinching the character up by his clothes or their clothes. I love- oh, knee on the bed. <laughs> Super angry. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, those are my favorite official- merch charms did that make any sense at all anyways i want more of those all right so here is the end result And here's what it looks like with the fairy lights on at night. Okay, and now we're moving on to our enamel pins. So I got this, I love that Sailor Moon one, I got this um, board from Etsy, I will link it in the description. There's like a medium size and a large size, I think the one I got was large, and you could either choose to get it shipped with command strips or hooks. I chose command strips and they work just fine for me, they stuck on my wall just fine. The only enamel pins I have are these vintage Tokyo Mew Mew ones and then that Darling in the Franks one is uh, one that I sold on my Etsy shop a little bit ago. Uh, it's not available anymore and then the one uh, diagonal to it or right under it uh, is also mine of my original character or my OC and then I completely forgot I had other pins so I ended up adding that off camera like a week later. So again, I will show you that at the end of this because I can't believe I forgot. I have like two that I made, one of my life as a teenage robot and then I know I'll throw back and then uh, Akko from Little Witch Academia. And then I have a few fan art ones.
and here is how it looks the end result with the added pins that I forgot uh, initially and then just really quick I wanted to show you I the second grid that I got from Amazon I used to display these plushies that I have I love these plushies these these little ones with like the circular eyes look at Gojo he is so cute oh my god and then I have this I recently got these like Vanitas and Noe ones and I think they're so freaking adorable you guys and I'm really sad that season two is over anyways thank you guys so much for watching please let me know what you think about literally any of these boards and I will see you in the next video which is hopefully hopefully soon bye bye guys Thank you.